even if we got last papers or people submitted very high quality uh, works, we rejected uh, papers with grades close to seven uh, out of ten. So it was a year that many many of you got really compromised in keeping things working, and we from the organizing committee thank you very much. Uh, I guess we can't wait any longer because the the welcome video ended up being much longer than we expected. Some some folks got enthusiastic about the event and, and recorded quite a long message uh, to you. So I would ask Leonardo to start streaming the, the welcome message so we can begin the technical session at nine. All right. Welcome to the opening ceremony of the 11th Brazilian Symposium on Computing Systems Engineering, SBESC 2021, and also the opening ceremony of the 10th Latin American Symposium on Dependable Computing, LADC 2021. I now call Professor Sebastião Soares, Federal University of Santa Catarina Prorector for Research, to give his message to SBESC's and LADC's attendees. Good morning. On behalf of Universidade Federal de Santa Catarina, I would like to welcome the participants of the 11th Brazilian Symposium on Computer System Engineering. First of all, thank you for believing in science and technology and for overcoming the difficulties of the pandemics. I wish to extend my greeting for our academic colleagues and the speakers from Brazil, Canada, Australia and Germany, and to express my satisfaction to you for sharing this important moment for the development of the computer system engineering in Brazil. Finally, I would like to express special thanks to the organizing committee for their effort to ensure the success of this symposium, represented here by the General Coordinator Professor Antonio Augusto Frolich and local organization in the person of the Professor Patricia Plants. Thank you for being here. Enjoy the four days of this symposium. Thank you again. Now I call Professor Antonio Augusto Frelich, SBESC's General Chair, for his welcome message. Hello. I'm Antonio Augusto Freilich, General Chair of SBESC and LADC 2021. The Brazilian Symposium on Computing Systems Engineering and the Latin American Symposium on Dependable Computing first got together in Natal in 2019 after both communities identified several common interests. At that time, we planned to have SBESC and LADC 2020 together here in Florianópolis to celebrate the 10th anniversary of both of each event. Unfortunately, as you know, the COVID pandemic caused a lot of trouble and LATC ended up being canceled. SPASC went virtual and uh, somehow, well, although we got to, to put together a very nice program in 2020 with several submissions with a lot of participants, we had that feeling that the idea was to receive you in person here in Florianópolis. And so, uh, while considering the options for 2021, the entire organizing committee accepted to go for a second round, pretty much confident that the COVID pandemic would be controlled with vaccination and that we would finally be able to receive you here in Florianópolis. Once again, unfortunately, Things didn't evolve as expected, and here we are once again interacting over a computer screen. Nonetheless, we put all the effort we could to once again build a high-quality virtual event and offer you a nice program. In this sense, I'd like to start thanking our 
sponsor, the Brazilian Computing Society, IEEE Industrial Electronic Society, IFIB and ASEAN. Thanks all authors for submitting high quality papers, the program committees for all the reviews, for all the selection procedure, the organizing committee, which once again had this enormous work of organizing everything uh, online, configuring the metamorphs, the channels, pre uh, re-encoding videos, preparing PDF papers, uh, so you could have a, a great week discussing science, technology and engineering of critical computing systems. So enjoy the program, have fruitful discussions and get ready for Fortaleza in 2022. Goodbye. Now I call Professor Terry Martin, President of the IEEE Industrial Electronic Society, for a welcome message. From the dawn of the electronic age, engineers have strived to develop the theory and applications for control, communications, instrumentation, and computational intelligence that were needed to advance the evolution of industrial and manufacturing systems and processes. From human-centric assembly lines to robotic automation, the modern industrial era has relied on the steady advancement of electronics to drive the world's economy. Our members continue to blaze trails for innovation and creative ideas as they change the face of modern manufacturing. From its beginning in 1951, as the IRE Industrial Electronics Group, IEEE's Industrial Electronics Society is the home of innovators and motivators who have envisioned and realized the tremendous advancements that have revolutionized everything from electrical machines to network-based manufacturing controls. For more than 70 years, IES members have been instrumental in every significant improvement in safety, every great leap in productivity, every bold step into the future. Enabling technologies are the life work of our members, more than 80% of whom live and work outside the USA and whose efforts are seen in the infrastructure of power grids, the secure operation of cyber-physical systems, renewable energy production and distribution, data-driven automation, resilient and safe manufacturing operations. In truth, there is not a single aspect of the modern industrial world that is not touched by the able hands and nimble minds of our IEEE IES members. Around the world, more than 9,000 engineers call IES their technical home, and many more technologists rely on the published research, conferences, women in engineering activities, technical committees, and the development and support of students and young professionals which have an immeasurable impact on the ever-expanding field of industrial electronics. Building and expanding a vibrant technical society is not easy. At a time when other societies struggle with attrition, at all member grades, IES has seen a steady flow of new and renewing members. The key is meeting our members where they live and work, opening the door of opportunity for students and demonstrating IES value to our underserved colleagues, wherever and whoever they are. If you are a member of IES, thank you. Your commitment to your profession is evident. If you are employed in any of our fields of interest and you are not yet a member, we welcome you to join us. Take this opportunity to become a leader in your chosen field. IEEE IES, creating, developing, integrating the electronic resources of this generation and the next. Good morning. I'm Terry Martin, president of the IEEE Industrial Electronics Society. And as president, I would like to extend to you a welcome to the Brazilian Symposium on Computing Systems Engineering. This symposium is an initiative of the research community originally associated with the Real-Time Systems Workshop, the Operating Systems Workshop, and the Embedded Systems Workshop, and the Critical Embedded Systems Conference. This symposium recognizes the strong synergy between these different areas and is also a reflection of the multidisciplinary composition of the Industrial Electronics Society. 
I might also add that the Industrial Electronics Society has technically co-sponsored this symposium for the past three years and looks forward to continuing the sponsorship in the future. I would like to say a few words about the Industrial Electronics Society. On February 21st of this past year, 2021, we marked the 70th anniversary of the Industrial Electronics Society. IES is a very strong IEEE society and has just recently surpassed the 10,000 member mark, which is an all-time high for our society. I might also add that IES was one of the first IEEE societies to embrace the world as a technical society. And today our membership truly reflects an international society. We have members from more than 100 countries worldwide. As president, I would like to encourage you to publish in one of our five flagship journals and our society magazine. You can go to our website at IEEE-IES.org to get more information. As many of you know, organizing a conference is no simple task, and I would like to express my appreciation to the organizing committee for rallying together to bring this conference to you this week. A big thumbs up to everyone in making this conference successful. Once again, welcome to the Brazilian Symposium on Computing Systems Engineering, and have a wonderful conference. And I'll call Professor Achim Hetberg Liaison Officer of the International Federation for Information Processing, IFIP, for his message. Dear speakers, participants of Organization Committee, Technical Forum Committee, and reviewers of the uh, 11th Brazilian Symposium on Computing Systems and Engineering. Uh, my name is Achim Bretberg. I'm uh, chair uh, of the Technical Committee 10 within the IFRIP organization. And I'm happy to be here today to give a short welcome to the SBESC event. So what is IFIP? IFIP is a leading multinational non-political organization in the area of ICT and sciences. It's also recognized by the United Nations and other world bodies. It uh, comprises the IT society, societies uh, from the countries and uh, regions. Uh, for example, for, from Brazil, the member is the SBC uh, within the IFIP. And uh, so we cover all the continents around the world. And uh, yeah, we have uh, a lot of members, as you can see, and the members are organized in working groups and also in technical communities. And uh, it's not only that we have people from science or from academia, we have also uh, a lot of people from industry inside there. So that's a real mixture between academic and industrial people. And what we are doing there from the topics coming from the theoretical foundations, two aspects in I, into different aspects in IT, also in ICT. And that for you, for example, here for best interesting is also hardware software and a lot of networking technologies. But also what is important are this deep learning, machine learning, digital twin, all these aspects you will find inside the IFIP. So it's a really broad, broad range. It's not only uh, covered to uh, some small topics, it's a really broad range of topics. Important for IFIP is also to help and assist developing countries in the IT infrastructure. Also, which is right now here, I think for the conference also from highly important is that we take uh, care of, of the access to the education, access to science, uh, and to, to create a nice environment for all this kind of area. So what you can see here, so due to the fact that the member societies bring all the expertise inside the IFIP and we, that we can discuss here everything, uh, with uh, new topics, we have challenges and different kind of opportunities. 
And again, these uh, topics are driven by the technical committees, which is split it into working groups uh, that we have here. So all the state of the art knowledge and uh, uh, yeah, state of the art uh, projects are mainly there. So uh, this is a great thing to create also new ideas. And that is, as you can see here inside the core is really the IT societies of the member countries, technical committees, working group, we take care of this research development and application in IT and setting up an international research atmosphere. And that's a great achievement that we got here. By the way, IFIP got already last year 60 years. And we are very proud of this. And uh, we wanted to celebrate, but due to Corona, we can't. So therefore we skipped and we hoped that this year was better, but again, it was not. Um, but this year we start with the celebration. Will be a big party next year, 100% sure if this Corona is over, but what we are doing this year already is there a lot of uh, seminars, a lot of panel discussion about highly interesting topics running. And if you Google for uh, hashtag IFIP60 or hashtag 60s IFIP, you will find a lot uh, in the net that you are free, by the way, to participate. So now where we are from, so I'm, uh, again, I said already, I'm the elected chair of the IFIP TC10. What, what is IFIP TC10? IFIP TC10 is computer systems technology. And you can see also here the topics of the other uh, TCs, but we are here in the computer systems technology. And TC10 is split in four working groups. That's embedded systems, concurrent systems, dependable computing, and full tolerant design and engineering of electronic systems and as best by nature, by also the, the aspects that is covered in the ASBESC is sponsored by the embedded systems. So that is what I wanted to tell you today and want to give you also this short welcome from the IFIP side. Again, we will do the sponsorship of the awards this year and it will be happy to hand over at the end of the conference the awards. It will be a great pleasure for me as well, probably also to, to have a nice, uh, yeah, a nice event. So that is what I wish you all here in the audience. A nice event with a lot of interesting paper presentations and some uh, yeah, nice discussions about it. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, see you soon, hopefully in the next uh, year and a physical event. I know call Professor Raimundo Macedo, president of the Brazilian Computing Society, for his welcome message. I am Raimundo Macedo, president of SBC, the Brazilian Computer Society. I am honored to be in this opening session to welcome the participants of the 11th Brazilian Symposium on Computing Systems Engineering, the major event of SBC's Special Commission on Computing Systems Engineering. First, my sincere condolences for the victims of COVID-19, including many colleagues of our computer society. Please let us keep all safety measures until we are sure to have overcome this terrible disease. On behalf of SBC, I'd like to thank the Federal University of Santa Catarina for hosting our symposium and congratulate everyone who contributed to its organization. Special thanks to the General Chair, Professor Antonio Augusto, and Program Chairs, Professors Ivan Miller and Chong Han. Thank you all for the excellent work. I also thank the institutional partners, IFIP and IEEE. Wish you all a productive and enjoyable symposium. Thank you. I now call Professor Ivan Miller, SBESC's Program Chair, for his welcome message. Hello, everyone. This is Ivan Miller speaking, Program Chair of the 11th Brazilian Symposium on Computing Systems Engineering, or simply as BESC, and together with Professor Song Hang of the University of Connecticut, we have come to welcome you to our symposium. This year, it takes place again in the virtual format due to the pandemic, but this does not diminish our expectations and motivation for holding the event. As always at SBESC, 
we seek to offer a high quality program and for this purpose we guarantee that all submitted articles receive at least three reviews. In case of discrepancies in evaluations, articles and reviews are widely analyzed by the technical committee with the possibility of discussion among reviewers enabled this year. Furthermore, all accepted articles were analyzed with regard to their originality using a tool provided by the publishing partner. The videos of the presentations were recorded by the authors. We will answer questions from the audience at the end of the presentation synchronously, in addition to being able to interact asynchronously through chat rooms. This year, we will have eight sessions with articles on various subjects such as multi-core, Internet of Things, performance evaluation, distributed systems, fault tolerance, applications, among others. This Hello everyone, this is Ivan Miller speaking, Program Chair of the 11 Brazilian Symposium on Computing Systems Engineering, or simply as BESC, and together with Professor Song Hung of the University of Connecticut, we have come to welcome you to our symposium. This year, it takes place again in the virtual format, due to the pandemic, but this does not diminish our expectations and motivation for holding the event. As always at SBESC, we seek to offer a high-quality program, and for this purpose, we guarantee that all submitted articles receive at least three reviews. In case of discrepancies in evaluations, articles and reviews are widely analyzed by the technical committee with the possibility of discussion among... And now, I call Professor Andrei Brito, Program Chair of Latin American Symposium on Dependable Computing, LADC, for his message. Good morning. My name is Andrei Brito from Campina Grande, Fernando Pedoni from Lugan, and I are the co-chairs of the Program Committee from LADC this year, and we want to welcome you all to LADC. So, uh, unfortunately, we are still remote, but we do have very interesting things on our program. So, we have seven papers in the main conference, several workshops, tutorials, industrial tracks, fast abstract tracks, and, of course, the collocation with SBESC. So, there are a lot of things that we can benefit in the conference. So, our uh, special thanks go to our technical program committee, which had 32 members that also helped us to select the best paper, which will be announced in our meeting on Thursday. So thank you all for your contribution to the LADC. Um, my special thanks will go to Gutu, our general chair, for being such a dedicated uh, coordinator. And of course, as a PC chair, I have to thank you all for your contributions, for attending the conferences, and I hope that authors get a good feedback during this, the, the conference and that uh, researchers will learn something that they can incorporate to their own research. So please do not be shy. Let's use the platform we have and benefit from the conference. Have a productive LADC. See you soon. The opening ceremony of the 11th Brazilian Symposium on Computing Systems Engineering and 10th Latin American Symposium on Dependable Computing is now finished. We wish you a fruitful week of technical and scientific discussions. So thank you very much for attending this ceremony. Uh, let me, before we go into the session, the technical sessions of both events, which will begin in five minutes, let me share the, the screen to give you some hints about how things will go on. How do I share my screen? So uh, as you can see uh, from the, the program overview, we have some plenary sessions, which means they, they are together for both 
LADC and SPASC. So those are marked as, as K, the keynote speech. You can see that for both, they are in the same time. And we also had yesterday a panel, or we'll have an industrial panel here, which is also shared among both events. But unfortunately, the RNP folks, the technical staff, wasn't able to list the same conference room in two communities. So we will have to shift from one to another. And this will work as follows. The, the keynotes invited by SPAS will happen in this room that you are right now. And those invited by LADC will happen in the adjacent, in the, in the other room. And we will leave messages whenever you have to change from one room to another. Well, we are sorry for this inconvenience. We didn't imagine that this was uh, deep down in the system in a way that even the, the managers wouldn't be able to overcome this limitation. We asked for support by RMP and asked them to make the same room visible to both communities, but they say this is not supported by, by the system. Okay, so, but, but, but whenever you have to change room, we will have some, some slide on the empty room directing you to the other one. And we ask them to cross register. So anyone registered for one event should have been authorized to access the room of the, of the other event. So it doesn't matter if you register for a SPAS or LADC, everybody should have access to both rooms which will be uh, going on simultaneously uh, along the week. We are also broadcasting both rooms over the, the YouTube. So for students which didn't register, they can follow uh, the discussions and even put questions. We have support staff taking note of questions that arrive via YouTube, via Matamos, or here with the Conferencia Web uh, chat channel. So uh, enjoy the program, take the best profit of your time along this week. Thanks once again for submitting, for organizing, for reviewing. So it's it's a mammoth uh, work and once again, we, we don't get that opportunity to discuss projects, to see friends after so many years together. Many of us are really uh, got a deep friendship uh, COVID prevented us from these uh, parts, but the effort of, all, of you all uh, enabled us to put together a nice program. And uh, next year, uh, I don't know if, if <clears throat> Elias is here with us. No, he will be in the closing ceremony. Elias will be hosting us in Fortaleza, uh, hopefully with lots of nice stories to tell about this, this crazy time. Thank you very much. So this room continues now with the SPASC first technical session and the second room is starting uh, LADC first technical session. Thank you very much.